All right, we are back with another episode of the Park Baseball 21. We had that introduction in the uh, last episode, so now we're going to actually get into a game here. And let's, as we can see from this side screen over here, there are some interesting players in the trade block. There's Corey Dickerson, Freddie Galvis, Jose Iglesias, Chris Archer, and Jacob Stallings. Archer would improve my rotation a little bit, but he hasn't really had that good of a season since his time with the Tampa Bay Rays. And last year with Pittsburgh, he was terrible. 3 and 9, 5 1 9 ERA, plus he's making $9 million. No way. Then there's Jose Iglesias. Hmm. Decent. Galvis, uh, we already had. Uh, Dickerson. So these are decent players that are on the trade block. The problem, though, with them is that they're all in their early 30s. And... Plus, they're also players I am not particularly interested in. But let's go ahead and play our season opener here against the Boston Red Sox. And there is our starting lineup. We've got Hinge and Ryu on the mound for our side. Eduardo Rodriguez on their side. So let's go ahead. All right, look at this beautiful day for baseball in Toronto as we get ready for our home opener. And yes, it is cold outside. Jose Peraza is up first for the Red Sox, and there's the first out. So Bogarts is up next for Boston, and that's going to be a base hit into the right field corner. And Bogarts on his way over to third, and he is out. A nice throw there, so two out, and now J.D. Martinez up. And there's a ground... And Jin Ryu gets out of the first without allowing a run. Alright, so now we go to the bottom of the first. Bo Bichette facing Eduardo Rodriguez. And Bichette with a drive to left field. And that is going to be a home run! A home run for Bo Bichette gets us started here in the bottom of the first inning. So now Teoscar Hernandez will come up and he is going to swing and miss. And now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is up. And Guerrero Jr. sends this one to the left. That's going to be caught. That will be the second out. Now Grichuk up. Ground ball. And that's going to be out number three to end the inning. But we get on the board with the first run of the game. So now Raphael Devers leads off the second for the Red Sox. And there's a ground ball. One down. Michael Chavez the hitter now. And he will swing and miss for strike three. That's Injun Ryu's first strikeout as a member of the Blue Jays. Benintendi is up now, and he is going to swing and miss at a 1 2 free inning for Injun Ryu. Bottom of the second, Rowdy Telez leading off. Down ball. One down. And Travis Shaw is going to strike out swinging. So now here's Lourdes Goriel. And 
And that is going to be a two out hit in the left. And Danny Jansen. And that's going to end the inning. Alright, so the third inning we go. Blue Jays leading one to nothing over the Boston over the Boston Red Sox. And Vazquez is gonna hit that one in the center. Upsets Jackie Bradley Jr., who's gonna swing and miss for strike three. Kevin Pillard, the former Blue Jay, drills this to left, and that's going to be a two-run homer to put Boston in front. So now Jose Peraza back to the plate, and that'll be the second out. Now here's Bogarts. And there's Bogart's second hit of the game. And this time he's going to think better of trying to... Uh, after what happened in the first inning. There's a fly ball. And that's going to be caught to end the top of the third. So a two-run homer for Kevin Pillar gives the Red Sox the lead in the third. Shet drilled a home run for us in the first inning, and here he is going to pop it up to center field. And Teoscar Hernandez to left, and three up, three down. Devers 0 for 1, and make that 1 for 2 as he lines out in the right. Ground ball. And he'll step on the bag. Runner moves over to second, though. Here's Benintendi. Pops it up, and just... Over the glove of Bichette, and now the Red Sox will have runners on the corners. And that's past the diving Bo Bichette. That'll be a run home for the Red Sox. So now they're up 3-1. to one. That one's popped up towards center field, and that will be caught two away. And Pilar grounds that one over to Bichette, who flips it over to end the inning. Vladimir Guerrero leads off in the bottom of the fourth. And Guerrero sends this ball to left. It's deep, but doesn't quite have the mustard. That is going to be caught. And Grichuk is going to walk. That brings up Rowdy Tellez. He's going to send this one into the gap in center field. And Tellez will stop at second. And we are going to get a run home off of that double. So it is now 3-2. to two. Here is Travis Shaw. And that is going to be popped up and caught. That will be the second out. So now Lourdes Guriel is up. And Guriel sends this one toward the gap in center. And that is... Going to be hit out. That's a home run for Guriel, and that's going to give us a 4 free lead in the fourth inning.
All right, Danny Jansen up now. And now Jansen will send this ball to left field, and it'll be caught. But Intendi makes the play. Blue Jays take the lead as we go to the fifth inning. Peraza leading off the fifth of the Red Sox, and there's a ground ball. One down. Bogart's two for two. Had trouble getting him out in this one, but that's popped up to right, and that'll be the second out. That's going to be ball four to J.D. Martinez. First walk issued by Ryu. That one's going to be taken to the left. It'll be caught, and that ends the inning. Kevin Biggio to lead off here in the fifth. And that is going to be off the top of the wall for a leadoff double. So now back to the top of the order, Bo Bichette. And that's going to be the intentional walk, so that'll give us two on. And let's see. So now we have two on, nobody out. And now Teoscar Hernandez is going to bunt the runners over. Throw to first. Not Is in time. Pardon me. So now Vladimir Guerrero coming up. He's got two on. And they're going to give some of the intentional walk to him. So now Randall Grichuk with the bases loaded. And that's going to be a walk. That's going to bring home another run. It's now 5-3. And of those three walks, that was the first regular walk. And Heath Hembry is now going to come into the ball game. Still, bases are still loaded for Rowdy Tellez. And that's going to be a hit in the center. That'll bring home another run. It's now 6-3. The bases are still loaded. Up steps Travis Shaw. And that's going to be caught for out number two. The run will score, however. So it's now 7-3, to three and Hembry... Ooh, Hembry does not look, not look good. And he's going to have to come out of the game with a leg injury. So now Marcus Walden will come in to face Lourdes Guriel, who has homered already in this game. And... Well, we got a run off of that. Now Danny Jansen's up 8-3. to three. I don't know what happened there. My thing glitched out a bit, but... Anyways, 8-3 to three now is the score. We scored four runs in that inning, and now we've got a bit more of a cushion here for Hinjin Ryu to start the sixth. And Chavis strikes out. And Chavis has been ejected. He must have argued with the umpire because Chavis is now out of the game and up steps Andrew Benintendi. Fly ball. Towards center, and that's going to be a base hit. So it's a one out double for Benintendi. Well, Ryu says he's fine. This pitch count. 100. Throw the first two down. And Bradley Jr. up base it into right. Runners at the corners. And Kevin Pilar is going to step up. Might want to fit. And there's a fly ball. Towards center. And that will 
end the inning. Now, do we let Ryu come back out for the seventh, or do we just decide he's done? That's something we're going to have to figure out here as we go to the bottom of the sixth with Kevin Biggio leading it off. There's the first out, up steps Bo Bichette. Swing and a miss. And now it's Oscar Hernandez. He's going to draw a walk, and that will bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that is going to be a base hit for Guerrero. And a Richard back to Walden, and that'll end the inning. 8-3 lead now for the Blue Jays. Okay. Uh, okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh... All right, substitutions. All right, looks like Hyunjin Ryu is kind of running a bit low on energy here, so we are going to go to the bullpen. Uh, oh. Okay, looks like we got to warm someone up here. Yes, we're going to warm up Sam Gavilio. And there we go. So we're using to start the seventh. One down. Okay, Gavilio still warming up. And there's strike three. Fifth strikeout now for Hinjin Ryu. So he is now at 105 pitches. So I think this is probably going to be the last inning for him. Well, there's a base hit for J.D. Martinez. That's going to... Here's the throw. It will not be in time. And Gaviglio is now ready. And we are, in the meantime, uh... Anthony Bass is going to warm up here. Alright, so Sam Gavilio now into the game. Ryu responsible for the runner at second base. And, oh! Bad throw. And the inning is going to continue. Mitch Moreland. Up now, and... Well, we're going to get out of that without allowing a run. Rowdy Telez now leading off at of the bottom of the seventh, and that's going to be popped up. One down. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to put anyone in for Travis Shaw? No. And Travis Shaw smacks one. In the left, that is going to be a single. And here's Lourdes Guriel. Colton Brewer in now for the Red Sox. And Guriel's going to swing and miss. Danny Jansen up. That's going to be ball four.
And let's see. And we're going to pinch hit Joe Ponick here. And that's going to be the final out, so that ends the inning. And the Blue Jays with an 8-3 to three lead. And Anthony Bass is ready. So... Here we go. And that is going to be the first out. Two down. I believe the three batter minimum is in this game. And that is going to be a base hit into the gap. So Jackie Bradley in for a double. And we'll now put Rafael Dolis in. And Ken Giles is going to go ahead and warm up. Inning over. The Blue Jays leading 8-3. to three As we go to the bottom of the 8th. One down. Actually, no, I'm going to let Teoscar Hernandez get a chance to get a hit. He is 0 for 2 with a walk. And that's going to be popped up. And that will be out number 2. Guerrero ground ball. And that will end the inning. Oh, no, Guerrero is uh, safe at first. There was a throwing error. Now Randall Gretchik's going to come up. A nice diving catch. And now the inning is over. And now we are going to make some substitutions. Anthony Alford will take over in right field and Derek Fisher will take over in left field even though it's not a safe situation we do want to give Ken Giles his first game action of the season and there's a base hit Bogarts two for four, and that is going to be caught. One down. Here's JD Martinez. Two away, runner moves to third. Crosses over to third and upsteps Rafael Devers. And that's going to get away from Jansen. That'll bring home a run. It's now eight to four. And that's going to be a walk. And now Moreland walks. And Intendi will strike out, and that's going to end the ball game. An 8-4 to four victory for the Toronto Blue Jays.
All right, 42,346 in attendance for this one. Oh, it looks like we have an opening day no-hitter. Mike Soroka no-hitting the Arizona Diamondbacks on opening day. I'm going to go ahead and do game two of this series in this as well because I want to see how Nate Pearson does in his major league debut. So Teoscar Hernandez and Bo Bichette flip in the order. Oh, that's right. I forgot I hit Shoemaker there. Alright, never mind then. So I guess Shoemaker's going to pitch. I guess I forgot I put him in the second spot. Anyways, there's the first out. This is going to be popped up, and that's going to end the inning. Nate Valdi on the mound for Boston. And Teoscar Hernandez will send this to right. That's going to be caught. And Bo Bichette's going to go ahead and draw a walk. Up steps Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and that's going to be a hit. In the right field. Okay. And no, we're not going to go ahead and try that. Grichuk, however, is going to walk. So now we have one out, and the bases are loaded for Rowdy Telez. And he's going to swing and miss. So now Lourdes Scuriel is up. And that's going to be a fly out to end the inning. So. We load the bases in the bottom of the first, but cannot come through. And there's the first out there. And that's going to be a walk to Benintendi. Jackie Bradley up next. And that's going to be Boston's first hit of this game. I uh, thought about going for third, but thought better of that. And there's a fly ball hit to right, and that's over the wall. That is a free run homer, and the Red Sox grab the lead. Christian Vasquez up now. That's the second out. Moreland's going to pop this up, and the inning is over, but the Red Sox lead it 3 to nothing. Travis Shaw leading off in the bottom of the second. And Kevin Biggio is going to send this 
to the wall and left. That's going to be extra bases for Biggio. On this one, right here. And that's 12 sugars, that's 12 grams. Yeah, that's kind of bad, by the way. Why did you take that out of the recycling? Don't worry, I will wash my hands. Okay. Alright, Reese McGuire up next for us, and he draws a walk. And now Teoscar Hernandez up one out. And they'll only get the out at second. Runners at the corners now, two out for Bo Bichette. And that's strike three looking. So once again, we cannot cash in. And we go to the bottom of the, we go to the top of the third, excuse me. Ground ball, inning over. And now Vlad Jr. leading off in the bottom of the third. That's going to be a ground ball to short, one away. Randall Grichick with a one out hit in the left. Rowdy to Les at the plate. And that's going to be a double play to end the inning. Mark, I'm not. Mark, I'm not being, being me. I'm just trying to look after you. Okay. Okay? Alright. Because I don't want you to be. Uh, I don't want you. Be a little overweight, okay? Yeah. Over that thing in the um, we recycle. Okay. Okay? You need to um cut it down too. I'm being nice. Okay. On that one, stick with stick with water. Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Anyway, there's a ground ball back to Shoemaker. Throw to first. Was that in time? It was not. It's an infield hit, and the Red Sox go up four to nothing. And that's going to be a hit into right. Throw to the plate will not be in time, and it's now five nothing Red Sox. And that's going to get past Biggio. Here's the throw. Not in time. So it's now a 6 nothing lead. And we are going to have to get someone warming up. Because Matt Shoemaker has not been doing well in this game. And inning over. Three runs on the board, though, for Boston. One down. Shaw's going to strike out. And Biggio will strike out. How? Yeah, we're going to take Shoemaker out of the game here. So he goes just four innings. Chase Anderson in out of the bullpen. 
There's a fly ball to right, and that's going to be caught to end the inning. Reese McGuire, ground ball. And that's going to be the first out. And Teoscar Hernandez sends one to left, and that is going to be... Put us on the board. It's now 6 to 1. 412 feet. Teoscar Hernandez, his first homer of the season, and upsets Bo Bichette. That's going to be in the left. There's out number two. And Randall Grichuk. That's going to be the final out. And that'll be a base hit. There's a fly ball. That one's hit well to center field. And that's into the seats for a two-run homer. Christian Vazquez going hard. It's now 8-1. to one. one down. This has popped up. That's the second out. And that'll be out number three. Bottom of the sixth, and we are trailing eight to one. And Rowdy to Les. In the left for a hit. And Lourdes Guriel smacks one in the center for a hit. There's not even really any point in bunting when you're down by seven runs. Alright, runner at third. Up steps Kevin Biggio. Swing and a miss. Now we're gonna let Chase Anderson go go for one more inning and see what happens. Inning over. All right, we're going to put some Jordan Romano in here to warm up. One now. Left steps to Oscar Hernandez. And that's a base it into right. And that is past the third baseman's glove. Hernandez is going to be on his way over to third. Bichette is in the second. That's a double, and up steps Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that's going to be an RBI hit in the right. And in fact, two runs are going to come home on this. A two-run single for Guerrero. It's now 8-3. to three. And they're not taking out Vivaldi yet. 
Good check. There's the second out. There goes to third. Now they take out Valdi. Austin Bryce is in. And that is going to do it. Jordan Romano is going to come into the game. And we're going to get Trent Fortin warmed up. And Vasquez, a fly ball to right. That's a base hit. Here's Mitch Moreland. That one's taken to right and gone. A two-run homer. It's now 10-3. to three. There's a base hit in the right. Alright, Jonathan Lucroy now coming to the plate, and Trent Fortin's going to be inserted here. And that's going to be a base hit. Catch made. 11 to 3 Red Sox going into the bottom of the eighth inning. Two down. Anybody up? So let's see. Put Wilmer Font in there. One down. That will be the second out. Ball four. And that ends the inning. Reese McGuire a base hit in, in the right field. And that's going to be a double. Let's see. Okay, Alfred. Has not had an at bat yet, so he'll go in there to pinch in. He will strike out. Boba Shet is up. Bichet to left and gone for a two-run homer. That's his second homer 
of the season. However, we are still down by six runs. There's a swing and a miss. Now Rowdy Tellez, last chance. But he will swing and miss, and that is going to do it. Boston comes right back with an 11-5 victory. So Matt Shoemaker, your losing pitcher. And Jordan Romano charged with three runs in less than an inning. Yeah, he did not do very good at all in this one. all the messages Alright, I think that is going to do it for this episode. We'll see you for the next one.